Hi everyone, it's Debbie from Snowdonia Soaps and I thought I'd do a video showing you how I paint our Dylan the Dragon bath bomb. It takes quite a lot of hand painting to get all this detail out but it makes such a difference because this is what it looks like unpainted and yeah it's still very nice but it just doesn't have that same character and detail but of course it does take quite a while to do. So I thought I'd just give you a quick video, well it might not be that quick but I'll be as quick as I can, showing you how I do it. So I'm using a black paint to do this. Now this is part of my assessment. It comes in a black granular form and you have to mix it with a little bit of hot water otherwise it doesn't dissolve but only a little bit of hot water. You don't want to use a lot and the reason for that is that water activates bath bombs. If you imagine putting your bath bomb in the bath as soon as it hits the water it starts to fizz and foam. So if I was to use a lot of water in this paint I'd start it activating and it would start to bubble up and then it wouldn't look very pretty. So what you do is you mix the granular paint with this tiny bit of water and then you dilute it down with 99% alcohol. Now that might sound nice, you know, anybody who likes a little tipple, but you really wouldn't want to drink it. It's actually poisonous if you were to try and drink it. It's known as isopropyl alcohol. It's the kind of stuff they use to sterilise equipment. But it's perfect for doing this because it evaporates really quickly. So I can get a liquidy paint and then almost pretty much as soon as the paint hits the bath bomb, the alcohol just evaporates off. So you don't need to worry if you've got children. There's no alcohol left. It literally all disappears. There's nothing left on here. But it means that I can make paint to do these bath bombs that isn't going to activate the bath bomb. So all I'm doing is taking a little bit of the paint and then I rub off the excess onto uh, a bit of kitchen towel because I don't want too much paint on here. You just really want to be highlighting all of the lines. And this is a fabulous mould. It's probably the nicest one I've got. Um, it was quite an expensive one. It was from America. And you know how much you end up paying, not only for the mould, but in postage and customs. But it is absolutely gorgeous to work with. And of course, because I'm based in Wales, dragons are part of the folklore and heritage. And in fact, the Welsh flag, if you look at it, has a gorgeous red dragon on it. Green, white, and this very proud red Welsh dragon. So that's why I really wanted to buy this mould. I wanted to be able to do a red Welsh dragon bath bomb for the shop. And I only introduced it at the end of last year and it was really popular and I've had some fantastic feedback. We make it in a Raspberry Crush fragrance. Oh, it smells absolutely divine. It makes the whole house smell when you put it in the water. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm picking out the details trying to be as steady as I can. I don't have the steadiest of hands when it comes to painting. Can you see that? I'm just um, filming this on my iPhone on a little tripod. So I'm trying not to go out of the camera angle. I'm hoping that you can see this. It's difficult because the phone's pointing downwards. I bought a proper video camera so I can start doing more YouTube videos um, and I did set it up but it was a bit complicated so I've got to spend a bit of time actually learning how to use it properly because I'd like to be able to do regular videos. You guys have said quite often that you'd be interested 
and seeing how I do things. And I think it's important when you do something handmade to be able to show that it really is genuinely handmade so people can see that it is authentic. You know, in this world of so many commercial things being made in multi-thousands of um, products, you know, per minute, you see them churning out. And I think there's a big move now towards wanting things that are handmade, that are made in small batches, that people know the provenance of them, they know where they come from, and they actually know the people who make them. I think that is so important. And I think it's what sets people like myself and other artisan bath and body product makers apart because people can actually see, they can get to know the people and they can see where the item is made. So there we have it. There is a hand-painted Dylan Dragon Bath Bomb. Cute, isn't he? Thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope this first video for the YouTube channel was okay. Hopefully, with a bit more practice, I'll get a lot better and a bit slicker with it. But my first effort. Thanks very much. Bye.